The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Fourth chapter, text number 24, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 4th of August, 1976, in Paris, France. Translation. A person who is fully absorbed in Krishna consciousness is sure to attain the spiritual kingdom because of his full contribution to spiritual activities, in which the consummation is absolute and that which is offered is of the same spiritual nature. Uh, discuss any question? Hmm? Sometimes we speak of the material energy as being different from the spiritual energy, and other times we speak of all energies being ultimately spiritual. So, what is the understanding? That's right. The electricity energy is coming from the same source, but it is being utilized for different purposes. Sometimes it is helping to make Hula, but sometimes it is helping to make Hita. Hmm. But Kula and Hita are two opposite things. But it is being done with the same energy. Hmm. How Vedanta Sutra, it is said, Janmatra Sajataha. Uh, Brahma, for absolute truth, is that. From where everything is in it. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Aham Sarvasya Prabhava, I am the source of everything. Matta Sarvam Pravartate, everything is coming from me. So, in another place, to make further uh, clear, Bhumi Rapa Nara Vayu Khanavana Buddhiri Yacha, Vindami Pagiti Astadha. These eight energies, they are uh, my energy. Uh, Astadha, eight, earth, water, air, fire, uh, sky, mind, intelligence, ego, bhinna, separate. It's like I am speaking in the dicta form, but after some time, without me, it will speak exactly like this. Uh, I am speaking, but I am not present there. Similarly, material world means it is being conducted by Krishna, but still Krishna, personally, he is not present there. In another place, Krishna says, Maya tadamidam sadvam jagatna bhaktam murtina masani sarvabhutani naham kesu avasthi. Uh, find out this verse. Krishna's energy is present, and Krishna is uh, seemingly absent. That is material. Mayatthani dhani sarvam yagadavyakti murtina matthani sarva bhutani nachaham desha vayasthita. By me and my unmanifested form, this entire universe is pervaded. All beings are in me, but I am not in them. Now, it is understood now. If there is difficulty, question. What does it mean when Krishna says, I am not in them? Huh? I am not in them because you cannot see them. Krishna is there, but you cannot see him. You are not advanced. Uh, just like another example, here is the sunlight is here. Everyone experiences it, but that does not mean sun is here. Is it clear? Yes. Sun is here means sunshine is here means sun is here. But still, because you are in the sunshine, you cannot say, now I capture the sun. Mm. Yes. Sun is uh, existing <coughs> in the sun, but sun is not present in the sunshine. How mm. sun? There is no sunshine. That does not mean the sunshine is sun. Same time, you can say the sunshine means sun. This is called 
అత్యంత వేద సైమెంటేనియస్లీ వాల్ అండ్ ఇన్ ది సన్ సైన్ యూ ఫీల్ ది ప్రెజెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ది సన్ బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు ఎంటర్ ఇన్ ది సన్ గ్లో యూ కెన్ మీట్ ది సన్ గాడ్ ఆల్సో యాక్చువల్లీ ది సన్ సైన్ మీన్స్ ది రేస్ ఆఫ్ ది బాడీ ఆఫ్ ది పర్సన్ లివింగ్ ఇన్ ది సన్ గ్లో దట్ ఈ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఇన్ ది బ్రహ్మ సంగీత జస్ ప్రభా ప్రభతు జగదన్న కోటి ఆన్ అకౌంట్ ఆఫ్ కృష్ణాస్ యూ హెవ్ సీన్ కృష్ణాస్ ఈ ఫైనల్స్ ఇస్ కమింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ ది సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ దాట్ ఎక్స్పాన్షన్ ఆఫ్ దట్ ఈ ఫైనల్స్ ఈ బ్రహ్మ జ్యోతి అండ్ ఇన్ దట్ బ్రహ్మ జ్యోతి హిలింగ్ వరము స్పిరిచువల్ ప్లానెట్ material planets and generality and in each and every planet there are varieties of presentation actually the origin is the krishna's rays and the body and the rays of the body's origin is krishna hmm. yeah. any other questions we we say that krishna is present within the spiritual within the heart of the living entity krishna is present everywhere as a person or as an energy as uh, in his energy how to person person we cannot see with the present time but energy we can feel free at this point more and more so and fully realize that this bas that everything is brahma sadbam khali brahma that advance devotee he does not see anything except krishna hmm. you thought about is there an actual difference between the material energy and the spiritual energy yeah different there are many differences the same example electricity so many things are watching different have energy huh? even the dictaphone is working electricity huh? but the same energy electricity Yes, what Krishna says, Aham Sarvasa. He is your Jiva. He explained by Bhagavad Gita that one changed body yeah. during the lifetime. But we see that a black man never becomes white or that there is a constant, there is something constant in, in the body so it changes. Yeah. What is it? How come this is a body but still we can recognize someone from his youth to his old age? So, when you further advance, you will find there is no distinction between black and white. Like the power is coming out, there are many colors, but it is coming from the same source. As, as such, there is no such difference, but to make it beautiful, there are so many colors. <laughs> And in the sun sign, there are seven colors. and from the seven colors multi colors are coming out so we see the one color white and then so many colors coming is it clear or no sri la prabhu ka if krishna has created everything and everything is submitted to krishna's will can we really say what is good or bad there is no good or bad it is mental concept ha huh. but on the whole in the material world means everything bad material world means absence of spiritual that <laughs> bring again spiritual world it is bad who hmm? says now because we are not yet advanced enough to see krishna as the supreme person directly how should we meditate upon him we will do not see krishna in the temple <laughs> <laughs> we are worshiping something big <laughs> we have to see krishna as krishna says in the present state just like krishna says raso hum of sukhamti krishna says i am the test of the water hmm. to see krishna in the test of the water that will make you advance according to different stages krishna says i am the taste of the water so when you drink water why don't you see krishna uh, this taste is krishna 
Any Vedic mantra is chanted, Om Tad Vishnu, this Omka is Krishna. Purusam, Nishu, and anything extraordinary done by somebody, there is Krishna. So you have to see Krishna in this. Then gradually you see Krishna is revealed himself, you see. But there is no defiance between. Realizing the taste of water as Krishna and seeing Krishna personally, there is no difference. Mm. So according to your present position, you see Krishna in that. Then you, then you will see. If you want to see immediately Krishna's Rasila, that is not possible. Mm. You have to see as soon as there is He, you have to know that there is fire. As soon as there is smoke, you have to know there is fire. Even though we do not see directly fire, but we can understand because the snow is a smoke is there, there must be fire. So in this way, in the beginning you have to realize the snow. They are still there in the seventh chapter. Find out. Rasoham Mosakanti Aparvati Sasujya Pravasarubi Vishu. Seven eight. O son of Kunti, Arjun, I am a taste of water, the light of the sun and the moon, the syllable Om in the Vedic mantras. I am the sound in ether and ability in man. Then these are seekers. Where is the deed? Eh? Who asks the question? Where is the deed? To see Krishna. Is there any deed? See Krishna. Krishna says, always think of me. So as soon as you drink water, immediately taste and say, Ah, here is Krishna. Manvanabha. Hmm. Where is the division? There is no division. Everything is division. Hmm? What is the division? Now should we try to remember that Krishna is God? What do you think of it? Chaitanya Ramayan for a Sitakar Baba. One has read all the Ramayana and after reading he is asking Sita Devi, whose father she is? Whose father is Sita Devi? Your question is very good. Because that's in my approach to Prabhupada, he told us that we should not forget that Krishna is God. He told it many times. Yes, yeah, why are you forgetting? What is it? If a devotee falls down from the path of devotional service, is he ever subject to the um, hells described in the Bhagavatam? Mm-hmm. The devotee never falls down. Yeah, I should have come back.